For this demonstration, I'd like to show you what happens if we put a dead short on one of the outputs. With your cheaper units on the market, if you have a dead short and you hit your Q button, you're going to blow something up. You're going to ruin your relay, your copper tracks, your wires, or whatever. Here we have a dead short on Q7. We're going to fire Q7. Okay, to show you, we've got four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then you probably say to yourself, Oh my god, what have I done? I've blown something up. Anyway, let's just connect that. Okay, you've got Q7, put it in there. It's a dead short. Let's fire Q7 a few times. Yep, no problems. Okay, take that wire out. Let's put in a little light bulb. And then we shall fire Q7. There's a continuity. Fire Q7. Oh, look, it still works. Basically, the device is nearly indestructible. So you can short out your cues. You don't have to worry about anything being damaged because the outputs are all short circuit protected. If you happen to lose your transmitter, what we can do is simply reprogram the E12 with a new transmitter. That's simply done by pressing number three on your transmitter, hitting the program button, and it'll go beep three times. Now that one's programmed in. We can do the same with this one. Okay, now both receivers are doing the same thing. And you can have as many drop boxes programmed for the one transmitter. Or if you had two different transmitters, you can program them individually so you have 24 shots. It's that simple.